The security service of Ukraine claims that a conspiracy to kill Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has been foiled. It was claimed today that the FSB, Russian security agency, had detained two Ukrainian counterintelligence officials on suspicion of plans of elimination of the president of Ukraine and other representatives of the top military and political leadership of the state. On Telegram, the Security Service of Ukraine, SBU, asserted that two colonels were involved in the scheme and were leaking information to Russia. Investigators from the SBU allegedly discovered a long-running scheme to closely monitor people before launching a rocket attack on a safe house. The SBU asserted, without offering any supporting information, that then they were going to attack the people who remained at the affected area with a drone. Subsequently, the Russians intended to remove any evidence of the drone's use by using a different missile. According to the SBU, Russia planned to kill Kyyl Budinov, the head of the state administration of Ukraine, Yasel Malyuk, the head of its own department, and other high-ranking officials. They declared that they had thwarted an attempt to kill Budinov, a major figure in Ukrainian intelligence, before Easter. Easter was observed in Ukraine on Sunday, May 5th. According to the SBU, one of the colonels personally oversaw the delivery of FPV drones, RPG-7 missiles, and MON-90 anti-personnel mines meant for the assault. The players thought to be involved were apprehended by Ukrainian intelligence gradually so they could not carry out acts of terror, according to their claims. We had a small group of people aware of our special operation, and I personally kept an eye on its development, declared Vassal Malak the head of the SBU, who was purportedly targeted in the assault. But we must not forget that the enemy is strong and experienced, he cannot be underestimated. The terrorist attempt, which was actually a failure of the Russian secret services, was intended to be a gift to Putin before the inauguration. We are going to keep pushing ahead, making sure that all traitors get the just punishment they deserve from the courts. A guy was detained in Poland last month on suspicion of organizing a scheme to assist in Zelensky's murder with Russian assistance. The prosecutor's office charged suspect Paweł K. with reporting his preparedness to act for foreign intelligence. Since the ground invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, there have been multiple alleged attempts on the life of the president of Ukraine. Russian espionage allegations led to the arrest of a number of foreign nationals in March 2023. Polish government representatives told the BBC. The surveillance network that allegedly set up covert cameras at the Rzeszow Jezianka airport to record the transportation infrastructure used to provide aid to Ukraine was allegedly dismantled by Polish security services. Zelensky's presidential advisor, Mikhail Podolyak, had already asserted that the Ukrainian leader had escaped almost a dozen assassination attempts in the first two weeks of the conflict alone. The Ukrainian military destroyed a Chechen group entrusted with eliminating Zelensky, according to a March 2022 Ukrainian Pravda story. Putin was sworn in for his fifth term as president today, capping a controversial March election. More than 2,500 people had been invited to the ceremony, according to Dmitry Peskov, the Russian president's spokesperson, and they applauded him as he entered the hall. Sergei Shoigu the Minister of Defense, and Mikhail Mishustin, the Prime Minister of Russia, were among the dignitaries along the red carpet. Pierre Levy, the French ambassador, was among the foreign diplomats and government representatives in Moscow who were invited to the occasion. The French ambassador attended the gathering, despite the fact that many Western governments abstained, according to an unidentified French diplomat. This comes as tensions rise in the wake of President Macron's recent remarks in which he refused to rule out placing forces on the ground in Ukraine if necessary. Despite rumors that the French ambassador to Moscow had been called on Monday, the appearance took place.